In this video, I'll show you how to automate lead generation using a custom GPT and SMS text messages. Whenever you generate leads, whether it's through Facebook ads, your blog, or any other channel, typically you redirect them to a contact form, such as Facebook or Google form. Your leads would then leave their phone number and be contacted by your GPT, the one you create in ChatGPT and provide it with custom instructions and some knowledge base. This AI chatbot would be able to provide your leads with all the necessary information and close them using SMS text messages. And this is one of the best communication channels available right now, so it's definitely worth spending 10 to 15 minutes learning how to set it up. This method is entirely code-free and by the end of this video, if you follow my step-by-step -step guide, you will be able to seamlessly use a GPT to automate your lead generation with SMS text messages. I'll assume you are already familiar with the concept of GPT and how to create one in ChatGPT without coding. If not, I recommend watching my video on GPT creation first and then proceed with this tutorial. All you need to implement this method is BotPress to connect your GPT to a chatbot, then Twilio to enable the chatbot to send SMS text messages, and Mac.com to set up communication triggers and connect all the apps together. All the links used in this video will be provided in the description below, so let's get started. For this video, I've created this sample GPT. Its name is All Found AI Assistant, and the only instruction it has is when you are asked about your products, answer my best product is this YouTube tutorial. Okay, let's save it. And uh, the first thing we need to do is connect this GPT to a chatbot. I'm going to use the BotPress Chrome extension in my previous video. I already showed how to set it up. You can check it out if you haven't yet, but it is really easy in a few clicks. I can build an AI chatbot integrating my custom GPT and it is done now. So let's test it out. What are your products? and it replied according to my instructions. So this way we know my GPT has been successfully integrated to this chatbot. Okay, now let's go to BotPress dashboard and on the left-hand side, you can see the new chatbot that I just created and I'm going to connect it to Twilio. Once you sign up with Twilio, the first step is to get a Twilio phone number. Just click get phone number and it will be granted to you right away. Scroll down and you'll find your account information. You need account SID and authentication token to integrate it with your BotPress chatbot. Okay, let's, let's go back to BotPress, click on integrations, browse for Twilio and install it to your chatbot. Do not forget to enable integration here and paste your account SID and authentication token uh, from Twilio. Once that is done, save configuration and the next step is to create messaging service in Twilio. So go to messaging, then services, then click create messaging service, give it a name. I'll name it YouTube tutorial. Select what you want to use messaging for. Uh, you can just leave notify my users and click create messaging service. Okay, on this step, you need to add senders. Sender type should be phone number. Just select your number and click add phone numbers. Let's move on to the next step. Here, I don't change anything. Just leave it as it is and go to the last step, which is to add compliance information. So if you're going to use this SMS text messaging in the US, it is recommended to go through the compliance procedure and they say it would improve the delivery quality and reduce filtering. Other than that, we are good to go. Let's complete messaging service setup. And when you get to this pop-up window, click on view my messaging service. Now you need to go to sender pool and we need to get to the phone number configuration. You can head to active numbers here on the left hand side and just click on your phone number. Once you are on the configure tab, scroll down and find this field called a message comes in. This webhook URL here, you need to replace it with the one from your BotPress chatbot. Just copy and paste and click save and our Twilio setup is done. The last part is to connect everything together and set up our workflow in make.com. Once you sign up, you'll find yourself on this page, go to scenarios and create a new scenario. I'm gonna click on the plus to add the trigger. It's gonna be, for example, Facebook lead generation form. So search for Facebook, select Facebook leads ads, then new lead, and you'll be able to connect your Facebook form here. To find your Facebook form, go to business.facebook.com and on the left hand side, you'll find all tools, then instant forms. And from here, you can create a new form and then select it while creating an integration in make.com. It is pretty straightforward, but now I'm going to use Google Forms. This is my sample Google Form titled YouTube test. So I'll search for Google Forms module and then choose the watch responses trigger. Create a connection, sign into your Google account, 
and for the form ID, click search and paste your Google form title. It should fill in the form ID automatically, then reduce the limit to one, otherwise it would double the messages and click OK. The trigger is ready. Now I'm going to create another module which will connect this trigger to our Twilio account so that whenever there is a new form filled in, it triggers Twilio to send an SMS text message to a new lead and that communication would be completely operated by our GPT AI chatbot. I will add a new module, search for Twilio, select the create a message option and then create a connection. Give that connection a name, let's call it YouTube tutorial. Then you remember those SID and authentication token that I already used to connect Twilio to our BotPress chatbot. So I'm going to use them again, but this time pasting it here to make.com. Click save. Okay, now it is connected. Let's finalize this setup. Send a message from should be phone number. Choose your phone number. It should be automatically pulled here from Twilio. Then you have to choose which parameter this message should be sent to. Go to answers, then phone number. And now there should be one more option here called text answers. For some reason it is not there, so I'll just leave it like that and let's see if it works. I'll type in the body of the message. Hi, I am your AI all found assistant. How may I help? Okay, now let's save it. And then you can turn on the scheduling. For example, every 15 minutes means that the software will be checking if there are new leads and if there are any, it will trigger the SMS text messages to be sent out. So it will be checking it every 15 minutes. I'm going to run it once and see what happens. The first module has been finalized successfully. You can find out what was done by checking the operation info here. And I can see that it collected my phone number. So it is collected as a value. The second module has failed, as I thought, because I didn't input the correct parameter here for receiving the message. So every time double check and make sure that you choose it correctly. It should be like that. Answers, then phone number, then text answers, then answers and then value and you need to click on value. So now it is set up correctly. Let's run it once and the second module is now also green. So the scenario was successfully completed. I just received this SMS text to my phone. It says uh, sent from your Twilio trial account. Obviously when you upgrade this won't be there and that's it. I can text it back and start the conversation with my AI chatbot. The thing is that the free trial Twilio phone number is the US phone number. I am not based in the US, so I cannot text it back, but the chatbot works for sure. And this is how you can set it up in like 15 minutes. There are a few things to keep in mind. The first one is that with the Twilio trial account, you'll be able to send SMS texts only to your verified number because the goal of the trial account is testing. If you want to send it to other numbers, you need to purchase a phone number from Twilio. And the second thing is that if you want to send out these SMS text campaigns to real users, make sure you purchase a new Twilio number from the same country as your target audience is based. Otherwise, you might experience the same issue as I am now because I can't text back the US phone number from my current location. That's it, guys. I hope that was helpful. I think this kind of GPT use is not an obvious one and it can really give you an edge in your business and lead generation process. And that's my goal. I am trying to provide you with original ideas and guides that can give you an advantage. If you like this video, please do subscribe, like the video, leave a comment. That's the best way to support me and ensure that I keep working hard on this kind of video. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you soon in the next one.